Off a day everybody. Welcome to my YouTube channel of Guam Fishing Expeditions. My name is Captain Ron and on today's episode we're going to talk about the right tools for the right job. And when I talk about tools, of course we're talking about fishing tools. In my case, we're talking about good old quality knives. So today we're going to talk about what knives that I personally like to use to cut fish and I use several knives to cut fish whether it's to cut through bone to fillet or for sashimi and today I'm going to show you which knives I per personally like to use. Today we have the Deba made by Tsukiji Masamoto. We have another Tsukiji Masamoto. This is a utility knife. It could be like a mini chef's knife. I like this. It's stainless. It's good all around. We also have a flexible Wusthof boning fillet knife. This one's great for precision because you can flex really well. You can get under the bone. And we also have a traditional uh, stainless steel boning knife. I personally don't use this, but this is a great alternative. It's pretty inexpensive compared to some of the Japanese knives we have. And as we finish off cutting the fish, we have a sashimi slicer. This is a Yanagiba made by Tsukiji Masamoto. All these Tsukiji Masamoto are found at Tsukiji Fish Market in Tokyo. So my go-to knives for butchering fish would be a star, would be this high carbon steel Deba. Really heavy, sharp, single-sided knife. Really thick, gets through the bone. Um, it's made out of high carbon steel. The only disadvantage of this particular knife is if you don't care for it, if it stays wet, it'll rust. However, high carbon steel retains its sharpness more than stainless steel does. So as I move on, I this would be my second knife I would use. It's more of an all-purpose knife, stainless steel, so I don't have to worry about the rust. I can leave it wet, it doesn't bother me. And then this would be a finisher right here. If I'm in a tight spot, you got a nice flexible knife right here. As you can see that thing flex, stainless steel. All right, so we're gonna start with the Deba. The Deba is designed to cut through bones. So we're gonna cut off the head of this tuna. Got a nice fresh yellowfin tuna, ready for some sashimi for a dinner tonight. Perfect time to get started on this video. So here we go, we're gonna cut right into this head. All right, turn them around. Cut right through the belly right here. Just snap this guy right out, just like that. Set this aside. Cut out the guts. There we are. Oh, one last thing, forgot. Sharp knife requires great gloves. Thanks Hammerhead for these good solid gloves. These gloves are designed to protect you from getting cut so you can literally samurai steel like this, cut right through and not cut your hand. Check that out. These are the best spearfishing fishing gloves I've ever made. All right, now back to what we were doing here. Always keep it clean. The Deba is great for just cutting along the bone. You wanna cut along the bone here. Perfect, easy cutting, the weight of the knife does all the job. This is not really a how to fillet video. This is more of how well the knife works. I'm gonna switch over to this flexible knife and show you a little bit about how it gets along the bone right there. 
Check how that works. Just flexes right along the spine. Cut down. There we are. Eh, not too bad. Could be better, but not bad at all. It's a good way to trim off the belly here. that right off. Gonna save that, cook it for later. So now we're gonna sashimi or poke. Still haven't figured that part out yet. Yanagiba is strictly a slicer. I particularly do not let this ever touch bone. This knife, if it touches bone, it'll chip. But it's razor sharp samurai steel. I think it's a blue carbon steel knife. So it's perfect for doing what I'm doing right here. I'm trimming off the bloodline. Trying to clean off all the dark red bloodline. I'll slice a little bit for sashimi. Clean that off. Let's clean your knife as you go. A little bit more over here. That uh, looks fairly well. Cut this bloodline right there. Then I'll just go ahead and slice for sashimi. You always want to use the full length of the knife. One more slice would be perfect. Alright. Just go ahead and serve it right over here. Probably get enough sashimi for our pachesa. And then the rest will, will make poke. Proper maintenance, you want to keep up with the sharpening. So we have a Japanese whetstone here. Um, these things you would have to soak in water for at least 15 minutes to let the stone completely saturate. You always want to make sure that your stone is perfectly leveled. And then, um, yeah, this is a single sided knife. So we just sharpen it just like so. And flat down, Let's finish it off. But always keep your knives dry. Or you can oil it slightly, especially these carbon steels. You can oil it with uh, some mineral oil or food grade oil. Um, just to keep it and keep it in a dry storage area. Especially the humidity on Guam. Try not to keep it outdoors or else they'll rust and they'll pit. And it'll be really hard to, to get it off the stains. So yeah, take care of your knives and um, it'll take care of you. Especially when you fish a lot. guys like the video if you have any comments or questions about the knives I use or if you have any particular knife that you like to use please leave them down in the comments I'll leave a hashtag of Tsukichi Matsumoto of where we get our knives and don't forget to hit the thumbs up like and subscribe all right guys shoot say hi scrunchy hey scrunchy Alright guys, a little bit of steak to go with that. Salad. <laughs>